My name is Lisa Riley, and I'm the program supervisor at the MSS in Egan, and I've worked for MSS for about seven years. I first started to get to know Dan in the spring of 2015. A staff member named Stephen set him up with an easel and a small canvas and mounted the paintbrush onto his head with sort of a construction helmet liner. So Dan started painting with his head and realized that this was something he really enjoyed. I tell you, Dan inspired me sometimes. I, you know, I say this and I kind of laugh about it, but he really does. He lived that life of, I want to do what I want to do, and I'm going to keep doing it. So Dan is physically setting the pace. He's a pace setter, and I'm telling you, people follow because he does a great job at it. Every morning, he asks to get set up in front of the easel, and he asks for types of paint and different assistive technology tools to give him choices. And I've seen his work grow from just a single layer of paint to layer upon layer. And he advocates for himself every day that this is something that he wants to do. It's beautiful. So his passion for art has been strong, and I recognized that right away. And so we started giving him the opportunity to do more of that. His goal is to go big. He has an international stage now where his art has been sold. So I think he's reaching all borders. He's just trying to make sure that it connects. Because what Living Well is all about is about making sure that people speak independently and freely of themselves. And so Dan got that platform at Living Well. If he wants to do something, he's going to make sure he gets to do it. He's really an example for when people really continue to strive for what they want and seek what they want in an especially supportive environment like Living Well and MSS people are going to do those things.